Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from North Coast, Old Rasputin, one of the classic uh, imperial styles out there. And I just picked this one up from Total Wine. And I found, actually, like I, before I picked it up, or actually after I picked it up, I see a number, 2138-1107. I have no clue what that means. Um, hoppy beers, I do not trust there. Uh, older beers, I do trust. But then again, like this beer should rotate. So this should be new. I have no clue what the numbers mean. This should be the new vintage of Old Rasputin. <laughs> I haven't seen it like you know recently. I can't imagine where Rasputin has sitting on the shelf for like a year. Who knows? This is Old Rasputin review. Uh, I'm going to guess this is 2022 20, vintage. Uh, nothing about the numbers make any sense about that. 21, 381. That makes no sense because not Julian 21 381 365 days in your year. I have no clue. Anyway, let's see again. Beer is nice and black, really beautiful, kind of like uh, medium tan color, not super dark. Uh, quite nice. It is acrid, it is American. It, I mean, like, let me smell this. I smell American, at least in a dark sense realm. It has this kind of like licorice -y, dark chocolate, acrid kind of thing going on. Um, actually, like, it's really cool um, working at a brewery and, like, hearing people, like, describe beers, and they're like, oh, this is smoky. This is almost like, like, acrid and burnt tires. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> you know exactly what's going on. Like, it's so fun to see descriptors from people that are um, quite not in the same conversation about craft beer descriptors, and they bring in some of the great descriptors that you can use. You know, I can sort of see that, right? Um, there's also a little bit of like, like a, I always call it like a, like a fake candy grape thing. Yeah, something about like these roast malts offer this kind of like um, nerds laffy taffy kind of like purple, purple, purple. Um, I always got that this purple kind of like laffy taffy thing going on. That smells great, truth. so ashy so for the longest time i did not really care about this beer um i guess then again i had like one of the best of all time like old uh, like 1050 founders imperial i don't think 1050 anymore and i or i don't get 1050 anymore and, and founders imperial is actually off market and it hasn't been produced anymore so it's quite a shame those are like two of my favorite beers of all time beer quite tasty wow It's so crazy, like a palate shift from 10 years ago, where this was thin, gross, and like oozy, and now it's so tasty. That's so weird. That's, I, I guess this palate shift, right? Like sort of like things were too intense early on. And then like, then again, that's not including that I got into craft beer, by the way. I Maybe mean, it was the one that <laughs> sort of knocked, it, knocked the uh, camera out a little bit. So, uh, what do we talk about this beer? Um, the beer is not too sweet, yeah. It is quite lively. It comes with a little bit of like uh, milk chocolate up front. Um, dries out with a lot of this kind of aromatics I was getting with this kind of like uh, uh, rich chocolate flavor, espresso, bitter, dark. It is quite a dark beer. It is quite intense. Uh, but that milk chocolate up front really like helps tamper the beer a little bit. That much malt sweetness to it. Yeah. There's a balancing sweetness, but it's not a sweet beer at all. It really doesn't have that fudgy thing that you would get from like a pastry shot or anything. And then I think some of the best examples have a, just a hair more sweetness, in my opinion. The hair more. Um, but then on the back end, I mean, we're talking about like some, like, I guess. Somewhat described, like you know, uh, coffee grounds, um, burnt tire, a little bit acrid, dark chocolate, one hundred percent cacao. They're very tasty beer. Um, it's so crazy. Like again, this is a beer that I really had hard times with, where I really thought it was like stinker. But man, this is a complete beer. Very tasty. The great thing comes in again. There's that up front kind of like grape skin, laffy taffy, fake 
great thing that, again, it's not specific as a beer, but like some Imperial Stouts do do it. And um, milk chocolate rides. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's pout shift, but this really is a tasty beer. Like, you know, wow, incredible. Uh, founders, just make your Founders Imperial Stout again, please. But that's all I can say. Um, this beer is absolutely fantastic. World class beer. That is stupid good. Forget Bauer treatments, forget, you know, all this kind of fun things going on here. That is right there. I'm going to give it a 90. Oh, man, why? Ashes. Oof, it's right there. Solid. 96. 96. Old Rasputin, North Coast. Crusher. I mean, for the longest time, again, I was not the guy that was into this beer, but like, so good. 96. Cheers later.